What's going on YouTube? This is Tyrone Trinity, the Diesel Soldier, and today we're going to take a look at the Nepros Ratchet and some other things that I picked up from Nepros. Without further ado, let's go. Alright guys, so let's start this video with this ratchet and I'm talking about a premium quality ratchet as you don't already know if it's a quality ratchet it comes with a box like this I mean snap-on Mac tools or any other tool truck brands out there doesn't even come in a box like this fancy so let's open it up right here so it comes with a little sleeve kind of like buying a new iPhone or some kind of anything expensive so let's open it up and you can see on the box right here and if you guys want to know the part number which is right here it's NBR390L that's November Bravo Romeo 390 Lima and this is for the 3 8 drive Nepros fixed head ratchet and you can see on this the fit and finish is really nice and fancy and let's see the, the sound and it, it has a locking or quick connect anvil uh, so your your socket doesn't go anywhere so let's go in depth and take a look at this in, in, in a little bit so I'm gonna put this down and let's check out the rest of the things that I picked up from Nepros and I bought this around December of 2021 about the second weeks I was trying to do a tool haul for Nepros and coking at the same time if you guys haven't watched my coking tool haul check that out on my channel I will link the video thing right here I think it's gonna be right here so but yes it took me about a month or six weeks to have the tool come in and when it came in it's through DHL cuz uh, it's I don't know that's most of the YouTube channels checked out the tool came in with the it was delivered by DHL so but this tool right here I bought it with my own money like all of my tools are unlike other people that get sponsored by this so this is an unbiased opinion of the Neparos tools and so I picked up a like a little spinning thingy for my ratchet and like again like the packaging on Nepros it's outstandingly amazing because uh, and you can see right here and look at the finish on that and I also got the 3 8 drive ratchet spinning so I can put it on ratchets especially on a stubby this will come really handy on a tight spot or especially on a coking this could definitely work well with the coking and I will show you guys what I'm talking about later on let's put that on the bench and the last one is something that I really need which for some reason I do not bother to pick them up anyways from any other tool brand is the adjustable wrench or a lot of people will call this in California a Mexican wrench I remember in the army I uh, was deployed somebody called this an Irish wrench I don't know why would they call this an Irish wrench but uh, that's a lot of for, for one tool that does a lot of what does a couple of things it has a lot of names for it it's Mexican wrench adjustable wrench crescent wrench Irish wrench um, if you guys have any no known name for this tool it's comment down below because I, I do want to know it's, I think it's funny how people name certain tools because of what they do so but again look at the mirror finish I can literally see myself on this and I will not discredit the Nepros for their amazing quality and has a little little 
dent right here or uh, to make it to fit in your hand really well and if you can see it's uh like a literally if i'm sh the way i'm showing you guys i'm looking at myself it's really literally nice so let's go in depth and looking at this especially the ratchet so without further ado let's go to the bench all right so what i was talking about earlier it's the mirror finish of this wrench and as you can see like i know my hands is a little bit like sweaty or whatever but it's even then it's still like showing the finish the fit and finish of this tool right here and I, honestly it's it's too fancy to use <laughs> it's for a for a tool like this but uh it does i don't think about you don't know about neparos if you don't know already it's that neparos does carry a premium price so that's one thing to to keep in mind about when you are getting an Eperos tools, any body of your tools, and this is the half inch spinner and the 3 8 version of this. I think I got a different um, numbers or a different kind of tool, but this is actually replaceable you can actually buy a different color for this i've seen one with a lime green i've seen one with a red um and i think it's available on a coconut website and you can't buy this in amazon not amazon japan but just regular amazon but they for some reason they're always like uh, running out of uh tools like always if it's if you check out the 3 a's drive stubby ratchet they have you they always have like 16 left or five left so that's a thing to consider when you are buying an epro set uh it might not be available to you on a regular price because there are some resellers in amazon so i know we talked about that let's take an in-depth look and compare this to the other ratchets out there tool truck brand and other popular ratchets in the market right now so what we have here is a couple of popular ratchets right here and um we have the sk tool and the Koken, the old school mac a newer mac and maco and the very popular snap-on so first let's take a look at what this tool can do uh, basically it doesn't have its own ratcheting um, mechanism inside so it's basically like a, an extension so what you do is put it right here and uh, goes like that um, this is the very smooth sound of the snap-on there's barely any uh, <laughs> sound at all um so that is it for this half inch drive and let's take a look at a the 3 h drive version of the spinner again it doesn't have its own mechanism so it's basically an extension and like i said earlier this will work great on a koken because the koken has a really low backlash and this is actually my go-to stubby ratchet right now as you can see on the scratches I do use my tool daily and for work, unlike other people out there. So you can see the and this and this looks great already. That's this Japanese Japanese tool hall, right? I mean Japanese tools right here and Japanese tools will work right here. I can't talk today for some reason. Right here and listen to that. When you think of anything this thing it will be useful and i already think of many like many jobs that i can think of that this is this tool will be useful right now and so that is it for that but just to test this uh let's take a look at the ratchets and compare them to each other so first i'm gonna try the neparos fixed head randall fixed handle ratchet and Again, this is 90 tooth, and that is the ratcheting sound of this ratchet. Seems pretty smooth. Um, I noticed this one thing 
already about this tool one flaw is that sometimes this thing gets locked up for some reason like this i don't know if it's the mechanism inside is uh that's how it works but uh, sometimes this thing tends to lock up oh man that looks that sounds nice and now let's compare that to an old school mac which is i picked up I feel like this is a, the oldest ratchet I ever had. This is a Mac ratchet. And if you're trying to get this right now in a tool truck, you probably won't get it. I got this from uh, the Facebook market for about 50 bucks, around $60 because it's shipping. But this is looks nice. A little bit. I don't know. I don't really know the specs for this uh, ratchet. But if you want to know the part number, it is... X-Ray Romeo Charlie 5 Foxtrot. So XRC 5F. And it's, it is made in the USA, original Mac. You can see this thing has been used already pretty well. And I like tools that has been tested already. Not like just a toolbox queen just sitting right there not getting used. Listen to that. That's the old school XRF. And then, listen to the SK. So, if you guys don't know, SK does come in dry out of the factory. So, I had to open this ratchet up and grease it just to make it sound more appealing. Goodness gracious. So, that's this. If you, barely, you can barely hear this. It's really smooth now because I, I did grease it up with Super Lube. Uh, the Super Lube grease is actually uh, what Tacton use for the ratchet. So that's what I use for this ratchet. And look at the difference. It's really smooth. Compare it to the old one. Now let's try the Mako. Compare that to the Nepros. Now let's compare the Nepros to the Mac. This is the Mac. And Nepros. And now compare it to the Snap On. It's almost pretty similar with the Nepros. Oh, no, not really. Uh, the Nepros sounds kind of echoey. So, so what I can say is that this ratchet is, it can really be a competition to a Snap-on, a Mac, and a Mako. I don't think Mako is even a competition if you guys listen to how it sounded. But uh, the thing about this tool is I'm not discrediting that this is not a quality tool or this is not a good tool to use. But... If you are new to the industry, this would not be your go-to ratchet. And just because it's impractical due to the fact that this comes in or came in from Japan. And if you guys already know that tools are really hard to get right now. So if this is your go-to tool right off the bat, that could be a problem because if this thing breaks and this is your go-to ratchet, Think about how long you would wait just to get a new mechanism for this. And this is more of a luxury tool. And other, unlike other luxury items that we have in life, it's the thing that 
we buy if we have a lot of extra excess or our resources are much more than we need so this is not a good tool to start with and i would go with a lower brand tool than this tool just because again like it's impractical to buy unlike on um, snap-on it does carry a premium brand and similar to the nepros but if i break this i can go to a tool truck and get it replaced right away within a week and if you get a for example a tecton ratchet which i always use at the house like this you can actually just take a picture and send it and they will give you a replacement that would last you about a week but when you buy a nepros you don't really know when are you going to get your parts so again i'm not discrediting the nepros ratchet and i really think a nepros ratchet is a really good tool brand that can compete with the other tool truck brands but if i would choose a japanese tool or import tools that can compete with the tool truck brand that's more of a practical but not too premium of a price is going to be the Koken. i really like the Koken because again it's not that expensive it's i think the pricing on the Koken is fair plus if you use this ratchet the backlash is so low that when you start using it, you don't even know what you're missing once you start using this tool on a daily basis. And this tool right here, it's like my go-to. I don't even use my snap-on ratchets or my snap-on stubby ratchets anymore. It's just because of the way this thing just works for me really well. So like I said, but in the end of the day, it's up to you to make a decision on what tool you want to buy. I'm just saying this is Nepros are not base are not gonna compete with the tool truck brands just for that reasons that it is overseas and it can be an impra a impractical decision to buy for a beginner tech. But if you are a seasoned tech, you've been in the industry for a while, you got a couple of ratchets, yeah. Pick up a Nepros Ratchet. No problem at all. I think they are a good brand. I think they are. They will last you for a while. Like a really long while. But as a go-to right off the bat tech who just started in the industry, this would not be a recommended tool. All right, guys. So that is about it for my video. And if you guys have any other opinions about this tool and the Ratchet, what is your go-to Ratchet? Maybe Snap-on. A Mac or a Maco, but would you consider buying this if it's carried by a dealer? So I want to know what you guys think and comment down below. Other than that, guys, if you like this video, like this channel and support my channel by clicking that subscribe button. Other than that, guys, my name is Tyrone Trinity, the Diesel Soldier, and I'm out. Peace.